What's going on guys? We are back here again. This time shout out to Milky <laughs> uh, Milky with two I's and an E. Uh, shout out to him this time around. If you want to shout out, just let me know in the comments below. I'll add them one by one to future videos. But this time around, we got a review for the Nox K Dragon Edition at six stars maxed out. Not maxed out. I'm lying. It is actually at level 27, I want to say, and so I just posted the Nox K Cinnabar at 6 stars level 28 yesterday, so, you know, relatively fair comparison, just a level difference, I believe, so, you know, we could basically call it the same thing and see how, uh, see how it compares. I don't know, I think most people, from what I've gathered, would say that the Dragon is still the best edition. Um, I'd like to think that the Cinnabar is the best edition just because it's newer. Um, and it's, I don't know, I don't know if it looks cooler. The Noxkate Dragon almost looks like a toy, kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks cool right there, but when you view it, like when you're looking at stats, it looks like a, looks like a cheap little plastic toy or something. Um, the jade, the jade looks alright, but it, you know, green has never been my color. I don't know, I really don't like anything in green, to be honest. And uh, the cinnabar one, you know, it's pretty cool. It's like black and red. You know, black and red, you can never go wrong with that color combo for anything. You know, sports teams, whatever. Logos, um, shout out to my logo. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's just uh, a good, good color combination. Um, so I like the Cinnabar looks, um, but overall performance, I don't know, I mean the Dragon pulls off some really far shots, you know, and uh, it's it's got a 10% boost in range compared to the Cinnabar, you know, Cinnabar has 15% boost in range and it'll do more damage at longer ranges with the combination of some of the Jade perk. Um, but Dragon is just all range boost plus 25% boost in range and you know it's it's I think it's noticeable that it does it does have an ability to pull off some longer shots um, but you know I don't I don't know they're really uh, I think it's a toss-up really between all the Noxke editions I think they're just they're just too close. You know, they all have the same damage increase. There's also the Patriot Edition and the Autumn Edition, um, as well as the Regular Edition, but aside from the Regular Edition, they all have the same damage increase, and then they all just have their separate little boosts. And I really, I mean, I honestly just think it's a toss-up. I don't know. I mean, gear could make a difference. You know, if you have Patriot, there's some good Patriot gear. I don't know if people wear that gear with the Patriot Knox. I don't know. Um, I don't have the six star Patriot gear, at least not two of the three pieces, I have one of the three pieces, but, um, you know, gear combinations could make a difference and something to keep in mind, but, um, I don't think the autumn gear boost is anything, can't remember, I don't think the, I don't think the autumn gear specifically boosted autumn weapons, so I don't think that's anything to worry about. And then, I don't think there's any Dragon, Jade, or Cinnabar specific boosting gear, so I think Patriot is the only one with the special gear for Patriot series weapons. Uh, but obviously the Nox, Nox K is an SMG, so any SMG gear will apply to it. Like right here, I'm wearing the two-piece Ghost set. How's my teammate not killing this guy? Most useless teammate of the year award. Look, he's standing right there. What is going on? I have no idea what just happened. Um, <laughs> let's see how we did. 10, 4, and 3 in our first match with the 6 Dynox K Dragon. Not too bad. But that'll do it for our first match in this video. Probably do about 3 matches in this video. We got a little 1 star A500 there at the end. Plus 13 combat points. Not bad at all. And we'll take a look at the loadout here. There's the 6 star Nox K Dragon, 580 portability, almost 3000 damage, not quite 4000 rate of fire, um, the Nox never gets above 4000, accuracy 
think that's a little low, 1242, but stability pretty good, 1481. Range pretty high for an SMG 20, 66 or whatever it was. And ammo is, is pretty much fine. Um, rocking the two-piece ghost set and the halo mask. Same gear as the Cinnabar um, review that I just posted yesterday. Uh, so pretty fair comparison. And we'll see if we can notice anything in the upcoming matches. Alright, looks like we're going to start a match here on close quarters camp, but I'm actually going to try something different with the gear setup. Um, I don't know, I played an earlier match and just kept getting wrecked by CQRs, so I'm going to throw the light urban vest on, get some assault protection. I'm going to throw the delta pants tiger on, and hopefully we have enough time, but I'm going to go for no headgear. Um, I guess, you know, you could wear the Mamba Saboteur mask, the AWD. 2016 saboteur mask those would be good options for headgear uh, but i'm just gonna go delta fans tiger light urban vest and no headgear just switch it up and see how we do here on close quarters camp you see off the bat i mean we're running pretty good move pretty good with this setup obviously you can always move pretty good with no headgear um nice nice two kills off the bat right there not bad at all a quick speed allows us to get up there real quick and Maybe catch him by surprise, catch him off guard. There's another kill there. Let's see if we can play this. No, we lost to the five star AG10. That's where I think, I don't know, that was kind of a lack of skill on my part. I feel like I was just a little inaccurate, but like we saw in the Nox case stats, you know, it's not the most accurate anyway, so. Maybe that's just a shortcoming of the Nox K. I don't know. Either way, we lost the fight. Let's see if we can win this one. Pre-fire, pre-fire like crazy. We got him, but someone else took us out with the six-star autumn edition. Like I was saying earlier, kind of a toss-up between all the editions. I haven't even bothered to build a Nox K autumn. I don't even know if I have. I'm sure I have a couple pieces, at least a couple of four stars, but I don't know how many or what exactly I have. Um, but haven't. Haven't had time to touch that, man. They just keep throwing new weapons at us. Oh, we got a stun. Let's get this guy. Who is that? Kill Pilgrims? Is that what his name said? Alright. Um, let's see. There's another good kill. Someone spawned behind us. Randy13 with the Noxgate Autumn. Wearing the Shamrock Pants. Oh, is that an enemy? Yeah, it is. There's a free kill. We'll take it. This is a pretty good setup so far, you know, it's protecting us well enough. We do have stun protection. There's Ran Deep again. Get some payback with the Nox K. Let's see if we can make it back here. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Oh. Is he wearing the new pants? Looks like a Mastodon torso. I don't know, those kind of look like the new pants. But either way, those are the new gear is in the gear crate in my shop, finally. So if you didn't have it, I know some people did, some people did not. Um, so if you did not have the gear in your shop crate, check it out now. Maybe it's there, hopefully it's there. It is there now for me. So, uh, you know, at least that was soon enough, but I haven't spent anything on gear yet. And I don't know if I will, to be honest. The gear doesn't look that great. I do have a handful of pictures. I think I have most, I think I have most of the pictures. Um, so they'll probably be on the wiki tonight um, from the time you're watching this video um, within a couple hours I would assume uh, but no guarantees uh, I'll just do it as soon as possible um, but overall you know gear doesn't look that special I guess I'll go over it more in more detail later on um, but you know if you are looking for it check out the shop it might be there now let's see here we got a minute left Looks like we're gonna get the W. Almost double their score. I don't think the score will be a problem. Long range shot, someone else took him out. Just running around trying to find some kills here, man. We're moving pretty good though. I definitely like the, the you know, a little more portability. I think, I'm pretty sure this is faster than what I was wearing earlier. You know, it, it, it feels better, it feels more portable. Um, you know, I do have the ghost pants with the two-piece Spectre set, you know, I could have wore that. You know, there's just so many options. I don't know. I never really know what to wear with the Nox since it's like, 
to me, the Knox is like a hybrid between an Assault and an SMG, um, similar to like a Far N or an SMR would be a bridge between Assault and Precision. You know, there's just those guns that kind of cross over into both, you know, not genres, but classes, I guess. Uh, there's a good match, 15, 4, and 3. I can deal with that one. That's good. We'll close out the review with that one. Um, and so I never really know if I should play more Assault style with the Nox K or if I should, you know, play like I'm playing with the LSM, you know, like a really short range SMG. You know, it's always tough, so I don't know what gear combination to wear with the Nox K, but the Ghost gear with the Halo helmet worked pretty well, and, you know, I think that Light Urban Vest with the Delta Pants worked pretty well as well, so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but that'll do it, and I'll catch you on the next video.